guys, today's video, um, I want to talk about my two of my same kind of succulents, but one I've kept outside on my patio and one I've kept indoors next to a really sunny window. As you can see here, I don't know if you guys can guess, these two are the same. They are golden sedum. And these two are opalinas. I got basically got these in the same pot and I separate them into two different small ones and they got pretty big on their own. So this two on the left I kept indoors on this window here. It's a south facing window. Um, pretty sunny most of the times. And these two here on the right I kept outdoors except this one I had to move it in because it was dying outside I think the Sun is too strong and um, it was not doing very well in a bigger pot with other succulents so all the other bigger leaves was dying so I moved it inside and it became harder again and it wasn't as pink as this one so I moved it inside it became really white and yesterday I took it out for one day again it became soft again but a bit more pink so I moved it in now they look about the same except this one has lost a lot of leaves which is pretty sad and this one is just really happy and golden sedum I'm a bit confused because you know usually you would think the one with the red is more stressed or with more color but I think in this case, for this succulent, the yellow area it is, the more stressed it is. This is like a golden sedum. Well, hence the name. <laughs> this is a really golden color. It's really pretty. And the one still got a lot of sun, but not as much sun as this one. It's greenish yellow with this little reddish edges. This one, I think, well, for the past few days, um, around this area, it's like 40 degrees out outside. It was getting cooler, so he was doing very well. But since these few days, it's really hot. Even my cactus started to um, get a little dry under the sun, especially on my top shelf of my patio. If you saw my previous video, the sun is really strong all day long. So I had to move this one, remove this one from the big pot and plant it in a new pot and moved it indoors. Also, I had a new elephant bush. I needed to plant in a pot and a jelly bean in the corner of my propagation plate that had nowhere to go. So I decided to put this three in a pot, which is pretty good. Because the yellow kind of go with the variegated greenish yellow leaf here and the pink edges goes with the pink jelly bean on the side so hopefully when they get a little bigger they will fill the gaps a bit more so yeah this is the stressed version this is less stressed I like the this golden one a bit more but the opposite this one indoors is more pink the one outdoor was kind of dying so I after I moved it in I watered it a lot because it was drying out that's why I lost the color but the color came back a bit since I left it out um, yesterday and these two are just also was outside they're not doing very well I moved it in but they're still a bit soft um, but this one in here is doing very well by itself. As you can see, the leaf up there is really compacted. So yeah, let me know what you guys think and what I can do about these. These are getting softer and softer. They're not even sending up. But the leaves are, I mean, the leaves, yeah, I think they might be rotting. I don't know. They might be dead. Let me know what I can do or can I propagate those? I feel like these don't propagate from one leaf. 
So do I cut off the top or what can I do? While I was talking to you guys, I really looked into my cocoon plants. I realized they were rotting from the roots. And so was my jelly bean on the side there. But it was leaning over and started growing side um, aerial roots. So I had to pull everything out and cut the rotting, the rotting root part. And since it has a bit of area root already coming out here, I'm going to just put it here, let it dry for a few days, and hopefully it will grow more roots for me. And these two, I think they are rotting. This one is definitely rotting. It's already black. This one is doing okay, it's not completely dead yet, so I'm gonna let it dry out for half a day or so and see how is it doing. Oh, um, well it's pretty dead here, so I might have to cut both of them off and see if they can um, grow new roots, but if not, then that's really sad. This is an, oh that's the, that's the dead root, I cut off this jelly bean here. and. My Alpalina, I didn't want it to rot, so I pulled it out and it's just gonna dry here for a day. I think when this guy was dying, uh, because of the sun was too strong, I overwatered it just because it looked so thirsty. And the other two actually didn't need watering. So these three don't work very well in the same pot because they need different watering. When this one is really thirsty, the other two is not and the roots ended up rotting so hopefully they will survive other than the rotting roots from my other pot i do have some good news this is my little hospital from my previous video i showed you guys about and i checked them today because i didn't touch them for a few days which was really hard and finally they have rooted i mean they didn't root completely but they started roots I'm just going to show you guys very quickly and that will be the last time I'm touching them because I really have to stop touching them. So this guy has been working on the roots for the longest time and finally, 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 it's this little root is coming out. And so I'm just going to put it here and not touch him anymore. And this guy, I didn't know if he was going to make it or she, whatever, and look, there's a lot of new roots. I'm really happy. So that means she's gonna survive. And this guy, I didn't pull him out to check on the roots, but he's doing very well, so I will assume he already has roots. Um, this one is just not doing, it's still not stable, so I probably shouldn't pull them in and out like this. So from now on, for the next, week at least i would try not to touch them at least we have some good news after the sad rotting roots we got my little hospital patients are doing all doing very well thanks for watching guys